I am super excited because I just got my hands on an advanced copy of Snagit 2021. For those of you that don't know what Snagit is, it is an incredible piece of software from TechSmith that will allow you to take screenshots and screencasts of your computer and easily create documents to share with your students so you can create your own how-tos and all these other different types of things. Want to learn more? Stay tuned. Today we're going to take a screenshot of Gmail and show our students where to find the all mail option when they need to search for things that might have been archived. The first time we use Snagit, we are going to have to set our hotkey. So we're going to go into the menu and type in Snagit to find the program. Two programs are going to come up. You will see Snagit 2021 Editor and Snagit 2021. The editor is where you're going to be doing most of the work but Snagit 2021 with the orange icon is the one that actually takes the screenshots. You can get there through the editor and we'll look at it in a moment, but for now, just click on the orange icon. When the program opens, you're gonna see right here that red capture button. Underneath the caption button is where you're gonna find your hotkey. Now, I personally set my hotkey to the print screen on my keyboard, and what this does is it means anytime I hit print screen, Snagit automatically will open. If you want to change your hotkey, all you do is click on that and then select the key on your keyboard you would like to use. Once you're in this mode, you will see all in one, which will allow you to choose each time between an image or video, image or video. I have it set to image because I do normally use Snagit for pictures and I use Camtasia for videos. So I'm going to hit capture and you will see crosshairs will enter my screen. The crosshairs have a couple things going for them right now. It automatically selects the full window, but you'll also notice the scroll arrows. If you want to take a screenshot of a long website, you can use that down arrow and it will actually scroll and screenshot the entire website for you. This is a great tool if you're trying to show something that might be bigger than the regular screen. I am going to just take a screenshot of the section that I need, so I will use those crosshairs to drag exactly what I want and then release. The Snagit editor is going to open, and where I said before that you can always open the Snagit Capture through the editor, it is going to be this red option right here that says Capture. That will open up the screenshot program. The editor, though, is an amazing tool, and this is what I want to focus on right now. So when I am here in the editor, I am going to have my options along the top, and if you click More, you will see the option called Simplify. Simplify is going to let you turn it on or off, and what happens is you'll notice right away everything blacked out so that it doesn't draw your attention to all the text on the image. It simplifies what you're looking at. I know that the all mail is underneath the word draft where I had that little two, so I am going to click on that box and delete it. So now the only text that's showing on my website is all mail. If I want to draw even more attention to it, I can click on the arrow and I can draw an arrow to all mail. Or I can do a shape and I can draw a circle around all mail. So there are a lot of different things you can do with the built-in tools. So the next really cool feature of Snagit 2021 is the templates. I don't remember this from 2020, so I think it's new for 2021. If not, it is definitely a new feature for me. So I click on create and I'm gonna be able to take image from templates. I am gonna select for now the before and after and I'm going to show you exactly what we just did. We took the before picture, which was my website of just Gmail, and my after picture, which is the blacked out simplified text. I can then add captions. Add a title. And a subtitle. If I don't need a subtitle, instead of typing in it, I can just delete it. So I could basically take this template and customize it how I need. When it says what I need, I'm going to go to File, Save As, and it's going to let me pick a file type. It defaults to PNGs, but you can actually select a huge variety of other file types, even PDFs. So we're going to make this one into a PDF right now. And this way you can see exactly what you're going to get. I go to my files and it automatically defaults to the Snagit folder in your documents, but you can change the saving place where it goes. I'm going to open that PDF up. And now you see my before and after PDF of how to simplify your Gmail. 
So as you can see in this PDF, my before has all the text of all my websites and emails, and my after is blacked out, with the exception of the arrow pointing here. Now you'll notice it did crop it a little bit, so if I go back to my editor, I could resize those pictures so that you get what you need. So you can customize it, it's not going to be an automatic type of thing. This is going to just simplify the process for you and let you help your students easily with these very quick tutorials. Thanks for watching today's video. Don't forget to subscribe for more awesome tech tips. Like this one. <laughs>